Hello and welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report for the 15th to the 19th of October 2018 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So this week we'll of course be reviewing gold, silver and crude oil and last week we certainly saw some explosive moves in the market. After the wobble on Wall Street, gold managed to notch up its biggest one day move in over two years breaking out to 1,226 US dollars per ounce. In fact gold broke out to two month highs. Now that comes after the worst two day stretch in eight months for the US stock markets. And this time round, we've seen gold and silver be treated as the safe haven. Now last week, as well as global stock markets selling off, we also had pressure on crude oil with over a 2% drop to the downside midweek. This is something that we talked about last week on the week ahead commodity report that we were anticipating pressure to the downside with oil. In fact, it's been very profitable to sell oil this week and be going long on on gold. As we go into next week, it's worth being aware that hedge funds and money managers, they have again cut their net long positions on crude oil futures to the lowest levels in over a year in tandem, of course, with a pullback that we're seeing on global stock markets over the last week as well. Now, on Friday, the US dollar did recover slightly after three days of selling off and hedge funds and money managers, they've increased their net sell short position on gold with the recent breakout. And we're sitting at key resistance at the moment. So we'll have a look at that more closely on the charts and we'll go through our trade ideas as we go into next week. Now, firstly, moving over to gold, as we've discussed a number of times during the commodity report, it has been very lucrative to trade this range with gold, very simply buying at the lower end of the range and looking to take profits at the upper end of the range here. We've been ricocheting between support and resistance for approximately six weeks. So at the beginning of last week, we re-entered our long position right at the lower end of this range, and that worked out perfectly for the breakout that we saw later on in the week. In fact, resistance was taken out above $1,212 and gold is overshot here to 1226 US dollars, which of course was the biggest one day move for gold in over two years. So as we go into next week, we could see some profit taking around this zone. We found resistance right at the upper Keltner channels, the monthly pivot to which gold has hit with precision before starting to sell off. And we have an inside candle formation into the close on Friday. So what we may see next week is a bit of consolidation. Certainly now we've cleared above 1200 US dollars and we've broken and closed above a lot of this resistance as well we may back and fill a little bit here going into next week and we could also see some additional profit taking if the us dollar was to find some support at the beginning of next week but we've now certainly broken out of this range and we've closed above resistance as well what i would draw your attention to as we go into next week would be silver now the gold to silver ratio surged at the beginning of last week but now it's starting to roll over which would suggest that silver prices are going to catch up with the breakout that we've seen on gold and you can see here just from a technical point of view we started a breakout here on friday we've got a bull flag formation in fact we crossed back above the 50-day moving average on friday as well closing above that zone and we could certainly see a continuation pattern going into next week here as well with silver so if you missed the breakout on gold I would pay attention to silver going into next week on higher time frames. We've got buy signals on the monthly, on the weekly. If we do get additional follow through to the upside on silver next week, first of all, I would look for a move back towards approximately 1480 up to 1490. And if we do break above that level, of course, we've then got psychological resistance residing at approximately $15. But I would definitely keep an eye on silver as we go into next week, particularly after the breakout that we've seen on gold. And do pay attention to the US dollar. Now, moving over to crude oil this has actually worked out perfectly over the last week for our sell short position again we discussed this last week that we had a sell signal on crude oil into the close on friday that we were looking for opportunities to sell into oil this week and that of course has come now to fruition in fact we've hit all of the targets that we were looking at this week on oil we covered oil on the midweek report as well where we were looking for a move back down to 71 dollars and approximately 30 cents and in fact into the close on friday us oil has closed at 71 dollars and 44 cents per barrel so the corrective formation that we were looking for has now completed with a sell-off taking the price all the way back down towards the monthly pivot. So that target has now been hit for our sell short on US oil. As we go into next week, we are getting a bit of support right at the lower end of the recent channel here. And we've broken almost down to 70 US dollars per barrel for oil. So I want to see whether going into next week, whether oil gets supported at this zone. You have to remember on crude oil, week to week, it's moving within approximately a three to four dollar range. 
and we're looking to take advantage of that range so whether that is buying the lower end of the range or selling from the upper end of the range we want to look at the new levels as we go into next week but certainly from a price structure point of view if we hold on to this zone of support we may well see a retracement back towards the recent levels that we broke down from last week now of course on the flip side of that if oil rolls over and it breaks back below the weekly lows here as well we could then flush out taking the price back towards 69 us dollars per barrel if oil doesn't hold support going into next week so if it rolls over again that would be the next major zone that we could correct to for crude oil if it continues to sell off and is under pressure as we go into next week hedge funds and money managers over the last week have cut again their overall long position exposure on crude oil now moving over to brent crude oil as we discussed on the midweek report we were looking for approximately a two dollar move lower here if we were to continue this follow through to the downside that is exactly what we have seen we've seen a revisit back towards 80 us dollars per barrel for Brent crude oil that's after the previous week where Brent crude oil broke out to four year highs but it was getting very overbought the overall narrative on the market was getting really bullish here this is when you would probably see a lot of headline news items about crude oil reaching 100 US dollars per barrel which is always a contrarian signal that possibly you should look to start taking your profits off the table and looking for a corrective price action as well and that is exactly what we saw on Brent crude oil and WTI crude oil last week now again Going into next week, we are finding a bit of support here on Friday. I want to see whether we will bounce from this zone and start to retrace going into next week or whether oil has more room to the downside to fall here. But we are coming into some previous level of resistance here, which could turn into support. And again, going into next week, very simply, I'm looking to trade the range on oil. Approximately a 3 to $4 range we'll be looking to take advantage of with crude oil. Now, of course, if you want access to the exact trades that we will be taking at the Gold and Silver Club and you want to join a community, of successful traders there is an opportunity for you to do so at the golden silver club you can join us at the golden silver club on the private members live trading room as a member you get access to live trade alerts those are delivered via whatsapp email and sms you have access to mentorship expert advice in-depth market analysis and trusted insights so you can know earlier how to act quicker and maximize your returns on every trade opportunity if you would like to find out more about the service all you need to do do is go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP. And do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, you'll be kept updated with the latest commodity reports.